in my opinion, your skill level, like what I would determine as how good you are, and I don't think about this too much anymore, but definitely the way that I used to think about it is what can you do first try? If I said, go go show me a line, like, sure, you can look at it, you can, you can think about what you want to do, and you can look at distances and everything, but then boom, go. What can you do? That's mm. your skill level. Anything past that is just reps. Like, you give, you give anyone, anything, any whatever enough reps, they'll do it just as good as anybody else. Um, it shows true skill, in my opinion, to do it first try or second try. Like, if you take more than that, I don't really care. And so that's, that's the way that I trained for a really long time, was just like, I, I might try a piece or try two pieces and then I would just put the line together and whatever came out, that's what I wanted to display. So that's when I filmed it, that's what I would post in videos because to me, that was my skill level and I wanted to convey what I could do with my skill level and that's how <laughs> I would do it. That's actually pretty crazy because what you're saying is when everybody else is posting videos on Instagram of themselves, like finally getting a move, Joey's at least historically, your Instagram was like, this is all my first tries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's like, that's pretty mind blowing actually. I, and definitely historically, I would say like one to three tries maximum. Uh, and if it took more than that, I was just done. I just didn't care anymore. I was like, whatever, I'll do this another time. And then I would go to a different line. Um, and part of that is I just really liked the movement aspect of it. I liked getting to that flow state. Uh, and if I was if I was doing the same line over and over and over, it was just like, dude, what am I like? I'm just, it's boring. I, I got mm. bored. I didn't care enough. I was like, I would just want to go do the next thing that's exciting to me. So that's kind of how I did it for a long time. And nowadays, like I, I am like, it, it's changed so much and I almost hate it because I'll look back on my old videos. Like I have a video, um, wings, I think it's called, mm. uh, I think I made it for take flight, but I don't remember. It was it was one of my first like try hard projects where uh -huh. I, I really wanted to, I wanted to pick a song that I really liked. I wanted to edit it relatively well. I'm pretty bad at editing back then, uh, still am. But you know, I, I wanted to put in like my movement, what I enjoyed. And dude, this might just be nostalgia or whatever it is, but at, even to this day, I can watch that video and just be fully inspired. And I have a really hard time training like that anymore. Because back then I would just go out and I would toss Sam the camera. I would literally be like, here you go, Sam. And he would know. He would just start filming. And I would do something first try. And it would just be the funnest, like, most random string together of movements. I didn't care about steps. I didn't care about anything. I would just land something and then run over here and do another thing. And then run over here and do another thing. And then, boom, hit a weird dive roll. And, like, that was so much fun to train. And now I'm like, oh, let me pick apart every single step no step out of place like oh i slowed down a little bit there i kind of want to redo that oh, i don't like this line because i like stuttered a little bit and i i don't know i hate that stuff and i think that's like i don't post that much to instagram anymore like no. i took a long break because it's just not that fun to train like that to me but it's it's for whatever reason it's hard for me to get back into the mind state of training how i used to train so I just kind of said, whatever, I'm going to put down that's Instagram awesome. for a while and have fun I, training. And so that's what I've been doing over the last probably two months, three months. Um, I want to get to you putting down Instagram, but I also want to tell a story. And then before we even – and then after the story, I want to, like, give you the option of which way we want to go in the conversation. Can we go back to Split, Jason? Um, you just explaining how you only did – almost what I would almost say like a, the phrenic energy. Is that the word of like, yeah. like doing everything all the time. It actually, no one's ever, I've never heard anybody talk about training that way ever, except for in kind of this weird way, David Bell. So <laughs> David, yeah, this is crazy. This is like, this is a new idea. Um, it's David kind of trained in the same way as you did. So David, you know, I spent a lot of time with David, he lived in France, um, worked with him for a few years. And he would tell me about times like the day of a thousand where he would pick 10 movements and he would do a hundred movements 
you know, 10 exercises and then you do a hundred of each. It might be like a nine foot drop and he'd like take the drop, walk back up, take the drop, walk back up. It would take him eight to 12 hours to do these, the day of a thousand as he called it. So there's days like that where he did reps, the same thing again and again and again and again and again. But when he talks about really the essence of parkour and how he trained, what he talks about is tracing all of every and lease. And he talks about something like he would tell me in seven hours, I could trace both cities. And so it was this idea that he constantly moved forward and overcoming the obstacle onto the next obstacle. This is how he trained. And this is when I came back from France, what I was trying to teach at the gym and what I've tried to impart on people, but it's, it hasn't really taken root, which is fine. But I love this way. Yeah. And it's the same type of idea of like, you only get the obstacle one time and you're onto the next obstacle. And luckily, every and least has enough diversity that that seems to be plausible you know, in terms of on even the what you would call the curbs and such, you can balance on and jump between and such. Not a lot of places have that. But mm -hmm. it just occurred to me that that's kind of a similar way to how David was doing it was you just do the next obstacle and then go to the next yep. one and then go to the next yep. one and go to the next one and go to the next one and go to the next one for seven hours or eight hours or that, 12 hours. You in that flow state. Like that's, that's the best ah, thing about it. Like dude. you're just going. Ah. You're just moving.